Welcome back. Davis Monthan Air Force Base is a valued part of our town, but they also value the community and the opinions of the public. So today is actually the final day of the public comment period, and they want to hear from you. Colonel James Meager of the 355th Fighter Wing Commander joins us from Davis Monthan Air Force Base. And good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. And you've Absolutely. been in your position uh, since August. So how has the first couple of months been going? You know, I, I did take over one August and it was absolutely fantastic. The warm reception I got from the community is just unrivaled. And really the the support structure here for the base is, it's the envy of a lot of my other fellow wing commanders across uh, across Air Combat Command. The first couple months have been absolutely fantastic. Getting reacquainted with the mission, I just had gotten back from Afghanistan and just getting, you know, digging my teeth in and really watching our airmen really knock it out of the park is awesome. And where were you originally from? I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. So shout out to all my folks in Buffalo out there, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, they're, uh, they're a very resilient lot that are out there from, you know, eight feet of snow at, at the house I grew up at to now they're going to have to, you know, really watch it with all the floods and take care of the people out there. So. It is, and you actually have some pictures of what it looks like back where, you know, yeah. everyone is still at the home, the you snow, and the, and the flooding. Um, and so now coming to Arizona, that's obviously a huge difference. Yeah, it, it is, you know, but I've been coming here for a long time. I, I, I met my bride here back in 1993, and uh, we've been coming back here because her parents still live here and her sister's sister's still here. So uh, I started training here in 1993, and Tucson has just been part of our, our family since then, which is awesome. We love it out here. We especially love it in the winter, being from Buffalo, New York, I'll tell you that. Exactly. <laughs> and, that, that, yes, like you said, your house was under eight feet of snow, and you went to... Um, Third, right? And the family <laughs> favorite list. Yeah, sister yeah, out there yeah. My out older sister is out there shoveling the snow off my parents' house, so I, I solidly lock myself into third out of third for yeah. you know, most favorite child in the family. You right? have to, you have to send them be, a much bigger Christmas gift now, <laughs> right? Yeah. But we we love you here in Tucson, and so we're gonna bring them out for Christmas. You, They're gonna come out. Oh, there oh. you go. Yeah. Then it's, they'll definitely. It's love easy you. to get people to come out to Tucson for Christmas. I'll tell you that. It is, and now that you are here, uh, what do you kind of envision for the future uh, here at the base? You know, uh, great question. I'm after kind of four important things when, when I took command, and I've told everyone this. My number one job that I, I have to do is I have to provide a combat-ready force for this nation, and that's all the training and pieces that we go through here at DM. So that's my most important thing. Then I need to take care of the airmen that take care of that mission. And so I'm really after making sure we develop our airmen, make sure we get them the right skill sets and training so that they can go execute their mission. The third thing I'm really after is to take care of the families, and the community is such a big part of taking care of the families, because when I send folks out downrange for six months to a year, you know, it really is a support structure that we lean on, and the community really steps up. And the last thing, of course, is I need to make sure I optimize resources. Every training dollar has got to count. Everything that we spend our money on really needs to be focused at that mission or those priorities where I'm going to develop my airmen, I'm going to take care of my families. Absolutely, and you kind of touched on this a little bit, but you were recently deployed to Afghanistan. Afghanistan, you recently got back. Can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, um, it really was fantastic uh, uh, to see what the airmen from Davis Month were doing. I actually got to see all of them, all the different groups that are here, because at DM we do have the ATANs, and it's kind of known for that. But we also have a, a couple other very, very, really good groups that are out there. One's the Electronic Combat Group. And they were out there, and they really work with our, our kind of high-end, soft tier one guys. And then we have the rescue group, which is your combat search and rescue folks who are just absolutely amazing, saving lives every day on the battlefield in the worst conditions possible. And then all the just the, the, the medics, my engineers, my personnelists, my lawyers that were over there, my security forces, everyone, that whole team, I, I saw them all from DM. And it really was amazing. And then, you know, the backbone of providing that combat power was the A-10 Overwatch, just protecting our sons and daughters on the battlefields out there. I think that's amazing. And I know you were saying about when uh, the men do go over there, men and women do go over there, and the families that are back here in the community kind of being a part of that support system. Is that a little bit why we do give this uh, period for the community to kind of comment? Right, so what we have is uh, the environmental assessment from our total force training, and there's an open public comment period. It ends today, so if you have a comment, please make sure that you, you know, take the opportunity to make your voice heard. So put the comments in there. They'll all be categorized, they'll all be sent up, and make sure that we record everything so every comment counts. So
So how would someone from the community um, be able to comment? How, how does that process go? Well, there is, uh, we have it on our, our website and there's links to it. And then I think we're gonna provide the links here um, on, the, on the screen. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that. But uh, so that you can comment either by email, you can send in, you can make a phone call if you want, or you can even uh, send in a, a snail mail, an old school letter. Just make sure it's postmarked by today, please. And we're open until 2359, I think is the. Well, thank you. 23.59. Yeah, but well, for someone who doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. 59 p.m. <laughs> okay. All right. I have to do that. Wait. One, two, three. Okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Subtract I, 12. 12. Okay. Now I know what time it is. Right. Okay. But, I, you know, I love your uh, three-step goal plan. Uh, what you see is the future. I see that you really are taking care of everybody, not just the servicemen and women, but also their families, and you're absolutely. thinking about it as a whole. So we definitely welcome you and uh, into your new position. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to be here, and it's great to be able to talk about my airmen. So thank absolutely. You. And as we mentioned, today is the last day for public comments regarding the environmental assessment. For more information, you can visit their website at dm.af.mil.